Hey guys, Pondo checking in once again from the garage gym. Today it's going to be another product review. It's something that a bunch of people have been asking me to review for quite some time now. This is kind of impromptu. I'm just finishing my workout today. Didn't really have any power lifts in mind, but might as well throw some squats in and show you guys exactly what I think. Well, what I think about it right now. I've had these for a few months. Um, definitely an awesome product by Rogue. I know that some of you, if you've been following me for quite some time, know that I made a review of the Edge Fitness Systems monolift. I absolutely loved that monolift. And uh, from the get-go, I can tell you right now that this piece definitely has an improvement in a lot of the, the things that the, uh, the Edge Fitness Systems, what made the Edge Fit, Fitness Systems um, monolift great. So here we go. As you can see, face value, um, as you can see how thick the steel is really. I mean, it's absolutely monstrous. This is for the monster version. I have the uh, RM6 monster rack. As some of you guys know, as you can see right here, there's, it's a three by three inch rack, one inch hole spacing. The steel definitely is very thick. Um, as you can see right here, there's the Rogue insignia. I like the, the two way uh, color tones, as you can see. There's a red, there's a black. Um, one of my favorite parts about it is definitely the UHMW plastics that they put not only where the bar meets the, uh, the monolift, but also where the, as you can see right here, let me show you, where the monolift meets the rack. There's a little bit of sliver of a, you know, some UHMW plastic to protect your rack. There's one here, one on this side, and also I believe there's one on the inner side over there. Um, just looking at the piece itself, I know some of you guys have been thinking about this been looking at it for quite some time. There's a lot of forum activity regarding the monolift. Um, as you can see right here, there's you know a bolt holding the, uh, the business end of the machine. And then there was also a bolt here that I took out. I, I like, which basically stops the monolift right there. Um, I like being able to manipulate the bar, you know, swing it back and forth whenever I'm about to lift. I'm sorry, my autofocus is kind of whack right now. Um, I like the design overall. It's not, you know, it's not straight lines. It's definitely got some contours and curves, as you can see. I like how there's a, quite a bit of, you know, there's a big hole spacing right there. It gives it a little bit of style. I like the red and the black. I don't think Rogue offers any other color schemes, colorway at this point in time, but I wouldn't mind, you know, hitting them up to see if they offer anything different. All right, guys, I know how all of you guys love, um, you know, real world measurements of the uh, monolift. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys some, a little bit of measurements, um, some statistics beforehand. Um, the exact space that's given to you by the monolith to rack the bar, as you can see right here, it's about 2.5 inches. So there's you know ample amounts of space um, for the rack for the bar to sit in. A bar is probably like 27 uh, to 28 millimeters or centimeters. I think it's a you know the smaller one. But anyways, that's ample space, plenty of room. It's a little bit big, it's quite a bit bigger than the uh, Edge Fitness System version as well. The uh, the top portion, this length right here. From business end um, to business end, it's about 33 inches. We actually will make it. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 17 inches long right here. And the uh, the UHMW part right here, which uh, where the bar will be able to to sit on and um, you know be protected from, is about nine inches. So that gives you quite a bit of leeway, quite a bit bit of room. This nine inches of space gives you a lot of leeway. Say if you're lifting with a taller individual. Um, then they'll, they'll be able to strike the monolift up here and you'll be able to strike it a little bit lower and uh, you know it definitely gives you a lot of room for bar protection alone. The UHMW is pretty slick. I like the fact that it is bolted on through the side. There's four big bolts here. It's not going to go anywhere. I've used this for a few months. Um, I've put weights up to 500 pounds um, on it and haven't had any issue with stability. Um, you're going to have to ask a thousand pound squatter to see if they have any issues but you know, for my use, for my, uh, in, in my gym, I definitely have, I'm not able to, you know, move this, um, to hurt it at all, whatsoever. Alright guys, I put on my, um, my rusty Ohio power bar in there. Uh, definitely neglected it a little bit in terms of care, but I definitely love the, uh, the rusted look. Just wanted to point that out real quick. Anyways, I wanted to measure the space, the distance between the bar and the rack real quick. So as you can see, between the bar and the back of the rack, I measure it accurately. There's approximately seven inches 
of space. That's enough room, you know, like I said in the, elite, in the edge fitness version, unless you pitch forward severely, it's not going to be safe for number one. And two, this is plenty of space for you to actually unrack the bar and, and start lifting from. Okay, and then from, from the back, the red portion of here to the back of the rack, there's uh, about five inches. So from this guy to, this, to the rack, there's about five inches of space. So I'm going to take the bar off and show you exactly how much room you got when you remove the bar. And when the bar is removed from the rack, there's approximately one inch, one inch of space here. So from here to here, when the bar is removed, there's about four inch difference. So that's a four inch pitch in uh, monolift motion from where you lift the bar from. I think it's ample, I think it's plenty, unless you're very unstable and you move forward, move backward, like I said, which is very unsafe to begin with. And obviously a lot of people like to know exactly how thick the steel is on the monolift. So um, basically the, rip, the business end portion, it's about three fourths of an inch. That's about on point with the uh, Edge Fitness version. The uh, UHMW each is about half an inch, half an inch. So there's three quarters of an inch of steel and a total of inch of uh, UHMW connecting the bar, um, protecting the bar. Sorry, the, the uh, autofocus sucks. But anyways, yeah, protecting the bar from the, uh, the monolift attachments. So there's a total of two inches uh, striking the bar at all times when you rack the bar. And here's another uh, view of the monolift. I got it on the floor, as you can see right here. There's the uh, UHMW in all its glory on the inside protecting your rack. This part as well. Note how thick this steel is. Um, I wanted to point out how it's like one huge um, piece of steel. It's nothing, it's all welded in together, all welded through. Construction is excellent. I don't think there's gonna be anybody that could um, you know, tear this apart. The, the only, you know, the weak point would probably be this, this pin right here, this bolt right here, but I think that's a very thick bolt, and I've contacted somebody. I don't know whether it was Rogue or Sorenex, but that, that bolt can probably hold at least 10,000 pounds of uh, pressure, shearing force. And also another quick point, um, if you look closely, right, let's see if it'll focus, right there, there's an extra hole right here along with this one. So you could adjust the height of this monolift up and down, probably about an inch. So that gives you another variability of, um, you know, making some little changes here and there in height. The monolift also comes with this little hitch pin, as you can see right here. Basically uh, prevents side to side motion of the monolift when unracking the weights, provides a little bit of safety. I personally don't use it. I think the monolift is stable enough as it is, but I believe Rogue does recommend you do use it in order for you to, you know, not, not kill yourself. All right, so before I move forward, guys, I wanted to show you a few um, angles, different angles of how I use the monolift. No weight, no weight added today. I just wanted to kind of show you how the unracking process as well as the re-racking process goes for both uh, squats as well as the bench press. Yes, you can bench with this, and it's actually really, really helpful. Um, as you can see right here, the, the, the reason behind the monolift is the fact that you're able to set up um, on your squat without having to walk out and already have the weight on your back it, basically in the position that you're going to squat or bench press already. On the squat you don't have to walk out, on the bench press you, you basically don't even need a hand off because what I do is I like to line up the uh, bar over my chest as to where I want to strike the chest when I, at the bottom portion of the bench press. Um, I haven't had any issues in terms of safety as long as I figure my form is on point. Um, I could see that, you know, if you're haphazardly re-rack the weight um, carelessly, you know, but it, in any form of lifting, you always have to have, um, you know, a strong uh, propri proprioception of where things are and what you're doing and basically not be a dumbass in order to, to stay safe and protect yourself. Modern lift itself is built like a tank. There's nothing really that I have any issues with um, in terms of safety. And uh, definitely it's helped me, I, I feel it's helped me a lot in terms of gaining strength in both of those lifts that I've spoken about before. Um, another great thing about the, uh, the mono lift, I feel, is that you're able to train with bands more effectively. Um, I like uh, strapping on, you know, hundreds of pounds of resistance. Well, not necessarily hundreds, but you're able to set up 
a lot more safely. You don't have to walk out the weight. You don't have to sit up for the bench press with a lot of uh, band tension, chain tension, anything like that. The weight is there. You just have to set up the body the way you're going to lift. You're going to put it. You're going to put the weight on, and then you, you just basically. It's a, it's a great tool. It's just another tool. Do you need it? Absolutely not. Um, is it cheating? Maybe to some people, um, but I feel that the benefits of the monolift are you know are excellent. They're there. Um, the price is a little steep. The one personally I have, it's about three hundred and twenty-five dollars. But I feel that you know Rogue definitely cut the price lower than what they should have sold it for. This thing is built like a tank. It's an uh, extremely impressive piece of uh, construction and definitely would purchase it again had I had the option. Alright guys, so um, that's my, my review on the product. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for the lifting video up next. Thanks.